and winding uh, after a <laughs> nice hard day with the uh, with a little wine. Not reviewing the wine, but since uh, what I was reviewing led me into a bottle, of wine, <laughs> I would hate to see it go to waste. Of course. Um, I am reviewing the rabbit wine opener. So here you got the head, uh -huh. like right here. The ears. The rabbit has some kind of cool hair thing going on. Does that look more like a rabbit when you do it at that angle? I think it's the head. See, seeing like a head and oh, ears. Oh yeah, I'm a total rabbit there. Glad we solved that mystery. This has only got two pieces. It's just the the actual opener and the uh, little twist off thing for the foil. And it is without question the fastest wine opener I've ever used. You know, you've got those wine openers that are just little bitty. They're like, they almost look like a knife and you have to fold them out and you got the thing to pry with. Um, mm -hmm. Those are, can be hazardous. You'll have a cork break in half every once in a while with one of those. It takes a little bit of strength to use them. Mm -hmm. um, I've had the ones that usually work pretty good. You screw them down and then you do the two, two things. Um, but they don't, they don't get me where I need to be as fast. They take some time. This sucker will open, the, open a bottle of wine in less than 10 seconds. We've got um, this little thing that just cuts the top off of it. What do you mean cuts the top? It's got little blades in there. Mm -hmm. and so, so you know how wine has a little thing over the, over the cork? Mm -hmm. This just you spin it around and it cuts it right off. Like a little foil thing? That's yeah, it just cuts there. the little foil off. So you just take the uh, little open part and you clamp it around the top of the bottle. Mm -hmm. um, move the lever so that the corkscrew goes into the into the cork, and then you just pull up and it pulls the cork right out. And then um, when you want to get the cork off the corkscrew, you just put the lever down again, tighten up the thing as hard as you can, and pull up, and it leaves the cork in the in the grips. Once you have the wine bottle open. You just want to find a glass, and then you just pour the wine into the glass, and then you drink it. Is that how it gets into the glass? Yeah, I, I almost forgot that part, but it's really the most important part, because once you got the bottle open... It then what, you yeah, know? Yeah, like, what do you do? <laughs> what kind of wine do you have here, bub? This is actually my favorite. I'm not a big wine guy, but this is Black and Blue by, a, what is it, Pheasant Hollow Vineyard. Local establishment. Flavor. It's pretty sweet. It's so much faster and so much easier. It, clamps around it so the screw is going to go straight down in every time. I've never had it fail at opening a bottle, never had a, a cork break off or anything like that, never even really had to pull that hard. Um, one thing it does do, when you push it all the way down through, the cork screw actually goes all the way through the bottom of the cork. So then if you re-cork it, um, you might have some leaking going on. So you, I would recommend either being really careful about how far down you go before you pull it out or um, get just some of those plastic rubbery wine stoppers, um, which are going to be better and make your wine last a little bit longer anyway. Or just make sure you got plenty of people to serve your wine Yeah, to. or just drink it right away. <laughs> you know, this is a little bit pricey. It runs about uh, 40 to $50, depending on where you get it. We found this one at Ross, I believe, and it was quite a bit cheaper. I don't remember the exact price. We've had it for a while now. Great hostess or host gift. And it's just a heck of a lot of fun. I show it off like if somebody comes over, I'm like, I can open that thing in less than 10 seconds. And just and it's out. Just if you like wine and you like neat little gadgets, you're gonna to want to get one of these if you don't already have one. Good story, bub. I thought so. What did the grape say when an elephant stepped on him? Mm, I don't know. Nothing. He just let out a little wine. Oh. <laughs> Wine joke. I always like it when I can find a joke that ties into the subject. That's when I great. The video. That's that's much appreciated. Really brings it home. Until next time, bub. Take care. A oh, thank you. Bye bye. You take the glass and you put it to your bottom lip. Uh huh. And then you tilt it until the the liquid pours into your mouth. How do you know when to stop? That's my biggest problem. I don't know when to stop. Somebody's wide-eyed. Baker says, what's this about a rabbit? She doesn't trust you with that They're thing. They're not allowed to have pets. <laughs>